Welcome to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial video with me, Gobbledygook Gaming. Today, as you can see in the title, we're going to be making a, uh, a minecarts and chest sorting system. I'm going to be making it for four, four uh, minecart and chests. You can make it for as many as you like. So, what you want to do to start off with is you just want to start with a powered rail and three rails, a block of wool. You want to power this powered rail here, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to uh, make a uh, four a line of four um, rails with a gap of two blocks in between, and then at the back put one powered rail, three blo and three blocks of wool. It doesn't have to be wool, but whatever block you want it to be. Your block of choice, whatever block you want to make it look like, if you want to make it look nice. Uh, I'm just using a wall for demonstration purposes. If you want to put repeaters in the, on the second block for all the wall, and uh, put them all to four redstone ticks. There you go. And you also want to just put redstone dust onto each side here. There we go. Now what we do is you want to get rails, we're going to get a line of rails up here, I know 18, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, you want to get a line of 18 rails up here, then you want to do is you want to get another 20, 20 rails going down there, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there we go. So, now we are here, what we're going to do is we're going to put a powered rail, we're going to destroy this block, put two powered rails there, and do that. So, this is where the, the pickup system, the pickup area is going to be. So, what we'll do is you can make like a little booth, but you don't have to do this. I just do this because I, I think it looks nice. Then what you do is you just click the minecart and chest, which will be in here, you just click it. You can take out put in resources. That is the way it will work. So, next thing you want to do is you want to put a wall, like a wall of, of wool, seven blocks in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is how long we want to make it. And also, it needs to be three blocks high. Uh, bearing in mind, I made this design myself. I hope you like it. Um, you put four leaves at the bottom, and we destroy these blocks here, and also the blocks underneath the wall there. There we go. So that is that is just like the basics of the actual system. Here, when here, if we come back over here, you can place another load of power rails at the start and power them all like so. Also, I recommend doing this, is I recommend putting powered rails in all of these spaces I have just destroyed here, so you need to then power the rails, like so. There you go, leave this up for five seconds. There you go, so that's what you need to do there. And also, I recommend putting another powered rail, because uh, it would make sure the minecart keeps moving just there. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, what we're going to start off with uh, at the moment. So we're going to fly back over here. We're going to start to try and uh, get the, um, the minecart like, going back into the uh, area system. So what we want to do is we want to get over here. So you want to do is you want to find what where the last booth is. And you want to go over here. And you're going to place a rail. You just want to go two, two rails far further. And a block of white wool there. And uh, there we go. So one of them, what I do is I uh, I put these redstone lines here. So as you see, when I flip a lever, that redstone line line turns on. When I flip it again, it actually turns off. Uh, and then what I do is I find the last last booth, which is going to be here. As you see, it lines up with the last last booth, and you want to do the same. With like all of these blocks here, like so. And then 
this redstone line here is actually going to link up with all of the um of these. Like so. Uh so once you have actually connected all of the redstone lines up, what you want to do is so the redstone like can reach you want to get a redstone repeater and you want to, on, on this one you want to put like a couple there, another one there, maybe even another one there, another one there, another one there. You see the place these rough roughly but so you can uh, see them where they where I put, put them. I'll leave this screen up for five seconds. There we go. Then what I do and what you also need to do is you need to flick all these levers so the redstone is actually on. And as you can see, if the, if the minecart uh, chest was to go up here, it would go straight past all of them. That is what you want. So, the next thing, and even probably the last thing you want to do, uh, so you can get like the minecart's activation system, it's not the last thing though, I don't know why I said, said that, is you want to uh, get wool all over the side, all over the back here, and you want to get redstone dust, here and you want to get the observers, you need to get observers. So all of them. This one you need, need to get two, this one you need to get three, and this one you need to get four. Okay. Okay, so now what you know what you need to do is you need to do that. And you want to get this observers going all the way over here. Like so this is this is uh, we're gonna activate it using observer lines. As you see here, that is just going over from the last one here. You want to get this over to where the repeater is. So you see that's where the repeater is. You want to line this up with the repeater, and then you want to put a block down like that, like that. You need to do another two blocks along, then another block along there, and then down like so. And then you need to get this like that. And then what should happen? is when you uh, click, if you just look over at the booth, you just click this button, and you see the redstone line actually did just turn on just then twice, okay? That is quite important. Then, so what should happen is when you put the minecart chest there and ask for it to come, the minecart chest will be power powered, it will come along, there we go, and then you can access all your stuff here, and then you can have a, have a button on your thing here. Press that, then the minecart like, like chest goes along here, like so. So that is pretty, pretty perfect. So now what we're going to do is we can actually do the same thing with all the other ones. So you to go along here. The only difference between the other ones and uh, the first one we did was is uh, when you get to the end of it, like we have like we have now, you want to go two blocks along before doing the you know, three blocks along you like because uh, otherwise the redstone line will be uh, destroyed. So you have to do the exact same block pattern again here like so and then you want to get your uh, redstone line in here and uh, there you go and you want to do the exact same thing uh, with the other one to remind you one more time if you've already got it skip forward to the like once i've finished these in the video but and, but if you want to follow the tutorial while you're building you can build with me here um as you know just do, just do this go along go down go down go down one more time Redstone dust in. If you want to slightly mod modify the uh, activation device, you can. But I know this way. I know this uh, way works. I know this way works. So uh, if you want to do a way which you know 100% will work, uh, I would do my my way. And again, if you want to skip past, you can skip past. But if you want to build with me. Just, you can just uh, build with me now. 
one mob, there's three more observers. As I said, this is quite an observer heavy contraption. Uh, so, unless you've got like, quite a successful survival, ser uh, survival uh, series going on, uh, I would not recommend doing this in survival unless you have like enough resources and you're doing quite good in the series. So now, all we need to do is just need to get a few observers, uh, a, few, a few repeaters more, a few, few repeaters even, just in here, just like so. Again, the placement is um, rough, we don't, it doesn't matter where you do it, but if you want to copy it exactly, I'll leave it on the screen here. There we go. So, just so you can see it best, I'll turn the time today. There you go. Uh, and that means if I was to do any one of these things, uh, the minecart will come. So, as you see, let's say I want to press the third one, press that, and then it will shoot, shoot along, and then it will activate it, and then it will go up to here. Like so, you can act, you can access all sort the of stuff there, and then you can ask ask for it to go. But uh, that's the system you need to finish off now. So what what you need to do here is you need to actually add three more here, and then uh, put power rails on the tip of each of these. And even if you wanted to, you could also add power rails on the bottom of all of these. I actually recommend doing this as well just so you know for a fact that this will uh, work and then do the same here. And then what you want to do is you want to add another two rails and then you want to go up. So what you want to do is this, 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 up, 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 up. And then, then what we do is we just bring line across over this minecart track and then what you do is you leave it here okay you want it to go over this powered rail then what I do is you just go over here with um, rails this is this this bit is all quite repetitive so once you've seen this you'll add another powered rail here once you've seen this, you can skip ahead if you want to, but if you want to build with me, you can just follow me. Uh, next thing, we're just going to carry on going upwards, like so. I'm writing one more time. Let's make it go over the powered rail. Let's put a powered rail uh, there. And then we we'll just power the powered rail. Then you want to get rails going all the way across, like so. And again, I say this every time, you can skip ahead if you want to, but for the benefit of the people who are struggling a bit maybe, or just want to build with, with me, uh, you can just copy what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to do them both at the same time, just to save time. Uh, that one. So then what we do is we just... power that. I might even add this one here while I'm at it. So then I can just add in my rails. And then believe it or not, I think we're actually finished. So let me show you the way this works. What you can do is you can actually lab label these things. So so let's say I have a dirt here. I can go dirt and so on. Uh, like that. Also I just want to mention I only did four minecarts, but if you want to do more, you can go all the way up. You can go as many minecarts as you want. So I seem to have actually activated a minecart. You know I haven't, I forgot to put it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put uh, all the minecarts in so I can show you how this works. So this is the important bit. So let's say I want to get my dirt minecart. I press the button and that will request for the minecart to come. A few seconds later, the minecart will be called and the minecart will arrive. It will come into this position here. You can open it 
you can put in the stuff you want, and then what you have to do, this is the important bit, listen, you have to turn this redstone line off by pressing this lever here. What this does is it makes it go around like that, not past it. So, then you can just make it go, and then it will go back, and as you can see, just drop into place, back where it was before. Um, they will work the same for all the other ones. Let's say I want to do this one, press it, wait a few seconds, it'll be requested. But as you see, it's just coming now, it's coming here, it slows down, it comes here. You put in all the stuff you want, you can take out all the stuff you want as well. Remember, you do need to actually uh, flick the switch. Remember, you do want to flick the switch again once you've done it, but then what you do is you can do this, and this will go past all of them except the one that was to go down. Now remember, uh, sometimes you forget to do this, but you do need to remember, need to remember is once you've uh, activated, uh, unactivated it, you want to activate it again, so the minecarts go back to normal. And this is my design on a uh, redstone contraption for storage and stuff, and it's very good for warehouses designs. So if if you want to make a shop and they request something, it comes here and it can go away again. You can build something around it, and I'm just going to put it on the screen just here, just so then you can see the redstone lines one last time. There you go. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please consider to like and subscribe to my channel, Goody Gaming. Uh, I'll be posting tutorial videos, survival series videos, and uh, Bed Wars videos with my good friend, uh, Cheese Lover Gaming. Can you go look at his channel? Please like and subscribe to his channel. Thank you and good bye.